Okay, I'm working on some new art. So this is the only glimpse of what I'm doing right now. I'm not showing you anymore. Don't know if you can tell what it is from this, but that's all you're going to get. Alright. So this is my breakfast. It's beautiful honeydew melon, which I don't even know how good it is yet, but I mean, it looks good. Melon, any melon is a great way to start the day. Great breakfast. My most favorite breakfast, I would say. But it's Travis. Mmm. That is juicy. That is juicy and sweet and good. Mm hmm. You see? So you said, wow. Mm. A good choice for breakfast. I will see you when I have lunch, I suppose. See ya. This is banana ice cream for dogs. <laughs> of course, it's good for people too. But I mean, I'm making this for a dog event at our dog park. So they can have like a little ice cream eating contest. But yeah, this is like bananas. There's a big chunk there yet. <laughs> And there, that needs much more, but it's bananas, organic peanut butter, like natural, well, orga natural peanut butter, and a little bit of coconut milk, like coconut beverage milk. Um, that's it. Like, it's not even a lot of milk, because you want to keep it thick. Oh. Okay, I have to try this. Like, I have to try it too because this is like epic. <laughs> and it might be good. <laughs> I mean, it's good for people too. I mean, people make, make my ice cream all the time. I, I'm not a really big fan of ice cream, but with peanut butter in it, maybe. Mmm. Oh my god. This literally tastes like, like a peanut butter swirl sort of ice cream that you get, <laughs> like Briars or something like that. Like I know they make a vegan version, but like this is like that peanut buttery. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's, <laughs> it's pretty good. Whatever the dogs don't eat, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> um, no, this is nice. Um, the dogs will love it. Let's, let's try that, in fact. Let's see if the dogs will love it, because I've got a dog right here that probably wants to try it. Oh my goodness, you like it? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think she gives a... At least he... I think she gives a... a two paws up. Hey, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, I'm gonna have one of these donut peaches. I'm, I'm assuming they're golden because I haven't seen anyone like this particularly before. I've seen, um like white ones so they look like a regular peach like would have pinks and gold denim and white you know it's pretty different coloring of a peach on the outside but this this looks different so i'm assuming it's golden inside mm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a little hard. It was in the fridge. It's in the left in the fridge, but... Definitely golden. I'm gonna let this sit out and I'll eat it. But there you go. A donut peach. A different donut peach. Okay, so I have to tell ya, I am eating something not raw right now. It's just a dip. I made an awesome bomb.com dip. But yeah, it's not. And I have these little, um, Harvest snaps, um, made from lentil beans, tomato basil flavor, pretty good, and, um, I just had this, um, dip I made, um, it's basically tofu cream peas, um, Parsley flakes. And. Chili lime seasoning blend. And that's what this is. Like. It's really good. But. It's not. Brilliant. Particularly. But it's like. Really good. And also I thinned it out a little bit. With coconut milk. To make it. You know. Dippable. Oops. My finger. Anyway, I want a snack, and I have these chips left over that we just go, we just harvest crisps, we just go stale if I left them for a week. So I ate them, and dipped it, you know, cream cheese that need to be used up, so, you know. So we can move another awesome vegan dip. Hey everyone, um, good afternoon, or good evening. What should I say? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. <laughs> uh, anyway, I wanted to give you a little um, hack video uh, as part of my, what I eat in the day. So, I have a salad hack for you. So, I made a spinach salad, and uh, one of my best hacks for a salad spinach in general or any kind is put it in a large bowl kind of like this this is what I have it in um I like like the bigger wider uh but shallower bowls um but any kind of bowl works and then excuse me And then you take your pizza cutter. If you still have a pizza cutter, if not, you get one. I recommend like a stainless steel good one. Um, I have a rata. Anyway, you just like use it in and everywhere around the bowl and cut your spinach. The spinach was like overflowing in this bowl. Well, not overflowing, but it was up high here. And now <laughs> it's substantially less. And so we use six ounce bag. I got it to Trader Joe's for six, uh, six ounces for a buck. And it's a really good bag. I like it. A baby spinach. You know, one's good for a salad. Um, but we're all vegan salad, I should say. Uh, if you're going to throw meat stuff, which you shouldn't. Um, why eat a salad anyway, right? I mean, ugh. Um. Anyway, um, yeah, just use that and your lettuce will, will be like bite-sized pieces, like small, which is perfect for me because it's easily digestible that way and I prefer it. And it takes a lot of bulky greens down to a little amount. It's really great. Anyway, I mean, let's just see this. Ooh, it's raspberry and strawberry it's on top. Um, there's a strawberry. Um, yeah, and then 
the raspberries. And the salad is dressed with another hack. Um, I took a um, chia jam. Um, it's a strawberry uh, chia jam that you can make. It's overall, you just like mash up the strawberries and add in some water, some chia seeds, and then your sweetener of choice. Um, I use this maple syrup, and then you can just put it in your fridge and keep it be good. Um, anyway, I just took like a tablespoon of that, a little bit more, um, with some lime juice, like the juice of a lime, and just mix it up, and it you need to add a good amount of lime juice and it balances out the sweet with its heart but you got this like amazing like dressing that you can just dress it with it's so easy i mean i think it's a lot easier doing that than doing a fruit based like blended thing that you have blended dressing that you have to take time to do this takes like a minute or less put some jam in the bowl I use this tiny little bowl squeeze some lemon juice or lime juice and mix it up and throw it in your salad so easy right and it is so good I mean I'm gonna eat this even without any fruit on it show you how good it is Oh well. <laughs> I mean, I have a fruit for extra uh, calories and nutrition, antioxidants, and color. But that's simple, easy dressing with this little um chopped salad pack mmm go try it go try it it's absolutely amazing so i'm gonna enjoy my dinner and i'll see you tomorrow